Can sex help alleviate pain? What is the science behind love at first sight? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, sex can release endorphins and act as a natural pain reliever, alleviating pain in some people. However, it is not a substitute for necessary medical treatment. Love at first sight is a subjective and emotional experience. Science suggests that it may be related to physical attraction, brain chemistry, and the release of hormones like oxytocin, but it is a complex and personal phenomenon. Erectile dysfunction in women. While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Evolution of sexual tolerance. Society has undergone an evolution in sexual tolerance. What was once considered taboo is now more accepted, promoting greater openness regarding sexual diversity. Exposure therapy is a technique used to treat sexual anxiety problems, such as erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. It involves gradual exposure to sexual situations to reduce anxiety. Favorite time of day for sex. Preferences for the time of day for sex vary among individuals. Some prefer intimacy in the morning, while others find it more exciting at night. Fetishes are atypical sexual interests, including a wide range of objects, body parts, or situations. Fetishes are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life if approached consensually and safely. Frequency. The frequency with which a person experiences orgasms can vary widely. Some people may have orgasms regularly, while others may not experience them as frequently. Health and well-being. Orgasms have health benefits, such as stress reduction, strengthening the immune system, releasing endorphins, happiness hormones, and relieving pain. They can also improve sleep quality. Health effects. Female orgasms can have positive health effects, such as reducing stress, improving sleep, and relieving menstrual pain. They can also strengthen pelvic floor muscles. Highly sensitive area. The area around the anus contains numerous nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and pleasurable zone for many women. Importance of consent. Consent is essential. Not all women enjoy anal sex, and it is fundamental to respect individual limits and desires. Influence of food on sex. Some foods are considered aphrodisiacs due to their supposed ability to increase sexual desire. Popular examples include chocolate, oysters, and avocado. Influence of social media on sexuality. Social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Integrity and honesty. Honesty and integrity are qualities that many people find attractive in a partner. Reliability and transparency are valued in a relationship. Kegel exercises. Kegel exercises are not only for women. Men can also benefit from strengthening the pelvic floor muscles to improve the quality of their orgasms and control ejaculation. Love and sex. Love and sex are closely related in the human experience. Emotional intimacy can significantly enhance sexual satisfaction, and sex can strengthen emotional bonds. The combination of love and sex can be a source of enrichment in relationships. Lubrication is essential. Since the anus doesn't naturally lubricate like the vagina, it's crucial to use lubricants to prevent friction and reduce the possibility of irritation. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Mixed orgasm. Some women experience mixed orgasms, which are a combination of clitoral and vaginal orgasms. This can be highly pleasurable and satisfying. Multiple orgasms. Some women can experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This means they can reach climax several times in a short period without the need for a refractory period, which is common in men. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. National Condom Day. 
In some countries, National Condom Day is celebrated to promote awareness of the importance of condom use in preventing sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies. Nipples are a common erogenous zone in both men and women. Some people experience high sensitivity in their nipples, which can lead to orgasm with proper stimulation. Orgasm duration. On average, a female orgasm can last between 13 and 51 seconds, although some women may experience shorter or longer orgasms. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to men, some women can experience orgasms without the expulsion of fluids, like male ejaculation. This phenomenon is known as female ejaculation, or squirting. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little-known phenomenon. Pararesis, also known as shy bladder syndrome, is a condition in which a person has difficulty urinating in public situations or with others present. It can be a challenge in shared bathrooms or relationships where intimacy is a factor. Pelvic floor muscles. Anal sex can strengthen pelvic floor muscles, which can have benefits for sexual and reproductive health. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Physical build. Some women may find different types of physique attractive, whether slender, athletic, or with a bit of weight, depending on personal preferences. Polyamory is a form of relationship in which individuals have multiple consensual partners. It can be an option for those who wish to explore intimate relationships with several people simultaneously. Positions and comfort. Experimenting with different positions can enhance comfort and experience. Finding the right position and allowing the receiver to have control over depth and speed can make a difference. Preparation and communication. Adequate preparation and open communication with the partner are crucial. Trust and consent are even more critical in anal sex. Prostate and P-spot. The P-spot is the male counterpart to the G-spot and is located in the prostate. Prostate stimulation can lead to intense orgasms and some men enjoy this form of stimulation. Psychology of jealousy. Jealousy is a complex emotion related to possession and competition for a partner. It can arise for various reasons, including concerns about infidelity. Refractory period. Most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot have another orgasm. The duration of this period varies from one man to another and tends to increase with age. Relation to G-spot stimulation. Some women report that anal stimulation can have indirect effects on G-spot stimulation and increase orgasm intensity. Sleep and sex are interconnected. Having sex before bedtime can help release tensions and promote more restful sleep. Additionally, some people experience erotic dreams that can result in sexual arousal during the night. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.